Hey there guys, Sean Michael here from WinBeta and welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna learn to sway like Dean Martin and Michael Buble using the latest presentation software from Microsoft. So as always, I wanna start off by saying thank you for this wallpaper. And to be honest, there are quite a few wallpapers featured in today's video because it's a sway presentation. I tried to put quite a few of them in there. So in case you're new to sway, it is, it is relatively new. It ships with the latest update of Windows 10 automatically. It's pretty solid, it's a good presentation app, and it's a good way to present everything from polls to charts to files to maps to uh, just all sorts of things in a different way than maybe PowerPoint or something that you're used to. I think it's meant to collaborate with PowerPoint. You know, they can do different things, but both of them can be used for presentations. So like a good cooking show, here's one that I prepared earlier, Sean's Amazing Display Sway. So I want to show you what it actually looks like, and then I'll show you how to actually make it and how it works here. So when you're inside Sway, you can just do this play preview thing, and it's actually showing you what kind of other people would see if you wanted to project this to a monitor or something like that. All right, so when you scroll down inside of Sway, things pop up. The things that you've embedded, you can embed tweets, you can embed videos. One of these is from YouTube, and the other one's from OneDrive. So you can add all sorts of things from different sources. You can embed polls, you can embed charts. Well, that one's actually in preview, I think, but you can kind of embed charts. You will soon be able to embed charts. Anyway, you can embed maps, though I think they have to be Google Maps, not Bing Maps, which is a bit ironic. And you can embed all sorts of photos in different ways. Photos are a strength of this app. If you have a photo presentation that you wanna show off, definitely take a look at Sway. After learning the interface, I think it's definitely a separator from maybe a boring PowerPoint. So you get all sorts of photo options here. So you scroll down here and you have slider tools. So you have skinny, fat, skinny, fat. That's me four years apart. You want to show that comparison? Great. Slideshows. There, you get this stack tool. You can stack these over. And then if you click this, it actually becomes full screen, which is pretty nice. This is just it grouping photos together. Kind of automatically groups them based on what sizes are. If one's bigger, it would rearrange them. You can add all sorts of text as well. And we'll get into that. And then you can do grid view and have captions on your grid. So that certainly isn't like absolutely everything you do this way, but I tried to shove as many different types of media as I could in here. Now I wanna show you how to make it, kinda of how to do this and take a look at that. First thing, that I, well, you can do this whatever you want, but one of the first things to do is changing the design. You can pick this kind of, you know, there's all sorts of ones. This is more of a fabric one. You can make this little woodsy one. It's gonna alter that back there. And then you can customize things like font and how that feels even within those specific ones there. Next up is navigation. So this one, I made it go up and down, but Sway can also go left, right. And this left, right is like um, a continuous left, right, instead of, it doesn't jump to other slides or something like that. So this is a continuous left, right. No, no that's not what I want. Go me, there we go. Continuous left, right, so you can see here, it's like one giant page, but if you'd prefer, there's this also like fading left, right, which is, I think a little more, if you're trying to do well, I don't know, it just find your own, but I think it would look good for a lot of different types here. All right, so here you go, you see this loads left, right, but it's like new slides and it groups what it puts on different slides. It's kind of cool, it keeps the text up top. So there you go, and you have your different videos and see this grouped it differently. You know, so a chart is gonna be full screen and that sort of thing. So that's really nice and that's the design aspect of it. Now these are made up of what they call cards. All of these are little cards and you can edit those cards once you make them and you can add different content to them. So if you wanna add something here, there are two ways to do it. If you click this little arrow, you can add one of the boxes this way, heading text, whatever. You can edit text inside once it's there. So if you add a text box and you say it's awesome, which I already did once, but <laughs> you can emphasize it or whatever, you can change it, bullet points, all that sort of thing. Uh, you can also add links, uh, but another way to add these is, because um, you see here, this has some of the options here, but it doesn't have as many as, as they're actually available. If you use the insert thing, you can insert media from all sorts of different sources. So it suggests things from the web based on your searches, but it also can have OneDrive, OneNote, Facebook, uh, all sorts of things, YouTube videos directly in there, tweets, you can actually search Twitter and then add, you just click and drag that specific tweet inside there you can upload files take a picture and then you can also give suggestions to microsoft as well you can say hey i really want to be able to use dropbox so because they don't have that supported at the moment you say i really like that to be supported so those are cards 
And there are all sorts of different ways that you can add those. So, you know, you just do that here. You just add, well, no, 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 I'm sorry. All sorts of different ways that you can add those. You just go ahead and you say, I want to add something from YouTube. And you can look up things like the WinBeta podcast and you can search that there. And there you go. So you get all these different things from your search history there. And you can drag and drop those inside of your little timeline or your presentation. Once you have a card inside your presentation, you, you can also change how big it is by clicking options and then selecting either subtle, moderate, or intense. So intense could be basically full screen, moderate's that little middle size there. So depending on what you want to emphasize, you select those different options there. It's a good way to customize it in my opinion and also change up the kind of pacing of your uh, presentation. So another thing you can do is sway. If you just if you made this whole presentation and you worked really hard on it and, and you think, man, this looks great. But then for some reason you say, actually, I'm curious what a robot would do if they made the same exact presentation. You can click this little remix button. And then after it loads and everything, takes a bit uh, to actually get the whole presentation. It's going to completely change everything. It's going to change you know, what it wants into making it a new style of presentation here. So then you can take a look and you see that this makes it look pretty different. So you can see here this remixed my little sway here. So now when I scroll, you know, it changes different things like how it looks and, and how things line up and where it puts things. So, you know, you might not like that or whatever, but you can just undo it. And so that's that's a, that's a thing. Um, I wouldn't say that I, I've been that satisfied with the remixes, but it is a, a bit of a fun tool to to use. Now, once you have a Sway presentation done, you can easily share authoring with someone through a Sway link, or you can just share it with people in general, or you can embed it into a website. So that's about it for Sway. It's a good presentation software. I think it has a really strong concept behind it, but to be honest, it can be a little slow at times. I had to cut out a few loading times inside this video. But ultimately, I think it's definitely worth taking a look at if you're trying a new way to make a presentation. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.